The Masked Singer is an American reality singing competition television series featuring celebrities in head-to-toe costumes and face masks that conceal their identities from other contestants, panelists, and an audience. After they perform covers of famous songs, the panelists and audience vote for their favorite performance and the celebrity with the fewest votes is eliminated from the competition, taking off their mask and revealing their identity. The Nick Cannon-hosted show employs four permanent panelists, Ken Jeong, Jenny McCarthy Wahlberg, Nicole Scherzinger, and Robin Thicke, to guess who the celebrities could be after each performs, with a guest panelist often appearing alongside them. It was the first in the Masked Singer franchise to air outside of Asia, premiering on January 2, 2019, on Fox. The winners of the first and second seasons were T-Pain as Monster and Wayne Brady as Fox, respectively. While noted for being more positive than other reality television shows, the series has received generally unfavorable reviews from critics. However, its costumes have attracted praise. They are designed by Marina Toybina and built by a team who incorporate both traditional fashion elements and innovative solutions that help the performer sing clearly and move freely on stage. In recognition of the show's costume design, it has won a Costume Designers Guild Award and received a Creative Arts Emmy Award nomination. The series has spawned numerous spin-offs, including an upcoming dance version and a national tour. Subsequent adaptations of the Masked Singer franchise worldwide have been credited to the show's success, as has an interest in developing other television series centered on costumes. Extensive measures are taken by the show's production crew to prevent the identities of the contestants from being revealed before an episode airs. The episodes themselves have received high television ratings, during the 2018-19 television season. The show was the highest rated new series among adults 18 to 49, leading some commentators to consider it at the forefront of a new reality television era in the United States. The series is currently in its third season which premiered as the Super Bowl 54 lead-out program on February 2, 2020. In an interview prior to the 2019-20 coronavirus pandemic, Rob Wade, president of Alternative Entertainment and Specials at Fox, confirmed that future seasons are planned. 2. Since the first season, the permanent panel has consisted of actor and comedian Ken Jeong, television personality Jenny McCarthy Wahlberg, recording artist Nicole Scherzinger, and singer-songwriter Robin Thicke, with Nick Cannon hosting the show. 3. There are often guest panelists that appear as the fifth panelist on the series, occasionally for multiple episodes. In the first season, they were Joel McHale, episodes 3-4, J. Beast Move, episode 7, and Keenan Thompson, Episodes 8 and 10. In the second season, they were Anthony Anderson, Episode 6, Triumph the Insult Comic Dog, Robert Smigel, Episode 7, McHale, Episodes 8 to 9, and T. Payne, Episode 10. In the third season, the guest panelists included Jamie Foxx, Episode 1, Jason Biggs, Episode 2, Leah Remini, Episode 3, Gabriel Iglesias, Episode 5, T. Payne, Episode 6, McHale, Episode 8, Will Arnett, Episode 9, Yvette Nicole Brown, Episode 11, and Sharon Osbourne, Episode 12, with Gordon Ramsay set to appear in the 13th episode, 4, Jeff Dye in the 14th, 5, and Jay Farrow in the 15th. 6. Plestis on the creation of The Masked Singer 7. The Masked Singer is based on the popular 8, South Korean series King of Masked Singer. Television producer Craig Plestis explained that he first discovered the format during a visit to a small studio city, Los Angeles, Thai restaurant in October 2017. 7 9 10, while waiting for dinner, he observed the other patrons staring at a television while an episode of the third season of the Thai version of the show was playing. Intrigued, Plestis began to research the series and secured the rights to produce an American adaptation within one week in a deal brokered by his agent, Steve Vall of Paradigm Talent Agency. He then called Fox executive Rob Wade on a Friday night to schedule a meeting with him the following Monday and worked to create a showcase during the weekend. 7. According to Plestis, Wade was scared by the show but envisioned its potential. After successfully pitching the show under the condition he could cast enough A-list celebrities, 10-11, Plestis began developing the series in November. 12. In January 2018, Executive producer Izzy Picky Barra became involved with the show to aid in the casting process and Americanize the format. Rather than follow the South Korean version in which two singers perform in three rounds, 
with the winner of the final round facing the winner of the previous episode in an attempt to become the new Mask King, Ibarra opted to air one elimination per night, emphasize the clue packages and guessing component, and have the celebrities wear more extravagant costumes. 10. Plus disagreed, wanting to create a story arc throughout the episodes and, unlike the South Korean series, be able to reuse the costumes. 7. The series was officially ordered by Fox in August 2018. 3. Munhwa Broadcasting Corporation, the rights holder of the Masked Singer format, lacked the ability to produce the show. As a result, the first season was produced by Endemol Shine North America due to Plestis' relationship with the studio. For the second season, production transitioned to a new in-house studio, Fox Alternative Entertainment, and the show's budget was lowered as a result. 1314, Wade said this gave the network further creative control over the series and allowed it to sell merchandise, launch a national tour, and create spin-off show The Masked Dancer. 2. Since the second and third seasons, respectively, Rosie Sai Cheek and Cannon have also served as executive producers. 1516. A group of celebrities compete on the show anonymously in costumes over a series of episodes. The specific format of the competition varies by episode, but generally, most feature four to six celebrities performing covers of famous songs, and the audience and panelists then vote for their favorite. The celebrity with the fewest votes in an episode is eliminated from the competition and must take off their mask to reveal their identity. This process of elimination continues for a set number of episodes until three contestants remain, and one is declared the winner after they perform again. There is no cash prize for winning, rather, the celebrity wins the Golden Mask Trophy. 1718, since the second season, the series has also featured a SmackDown round in some episodes in which the two competitors with the fewest votes from their first performances sing again with a second vote occurring, and the performer with the fewest votes is then eliminated. 19. In the third season, the contestants were divided into three subgroups who each performed on three consecutive episodes before returning to the unified performance format afterwards. 20. In addition to the singing competition, hints to each masked singer's identity are offered during the show and are referred to as a clue package by the panelists. Such clues may feature cryptic allusions to what the celebrity is known for or may be more direct references. Pre-taped interviews are also given as hints and feature the celebrities' electronically masked voices. The panelists are given time to speculate the identity of the singer after their performance and can ask questions or request that the host offer additional clues. 17. Banter between the panelists and behind-the-scenes footage is also incorporated in an episode. 21. Ibarra was ecstatic when Cannon agreed to host the show, citing him as her number one choice for the role because of his personality and experience. 1. Cannon stated that he had been less keen to hosting television shows since leaving his role on America's Got Talent in 2017 but was fascinated by the concept and saw that it was already hit format in other countries. 22. Regarding the panelists, Ibarra said the production team was less concerned with selecting those with an ability to critique participants' singing abilities than being able to create a comedic tone for the show as one of their goals was to reassure celebrities they would not be ridiculed for choosing to appear. Jiang was the first panelist to be signed on to the series due to his humor and pre-existing knowledge of the South Korean version, followed by McCarthy Wahlberg and Thick, respectively, due to their enthusiasm regarding the concept, and Scherzinger for her positivity and experience as a singer. 111, like Canon, Scherzinger said she was attracted to the show because of its originality and success in Asia. 23, she also stated that the producers did not test her pop culture knowledge before being selected as a panelist. 24. On March 28, 2019, Osborne revealed on the talk she was supposed to be signed on as a permanent panelist for the series. Those plans fell through after being contractually obligated to appear on The X Factor. 25. 